today you will be learning how you can make a spectating ghost system but before this tutorial starts I want to give a demonstration of this system so as you can see everyone is alive and everyone can cheat each other so now let's say I die on this account right at the top left of your screen uh, this person becomes a ghost as you can see now I am a ghost and I can revive but these players all these three other players cannot see this player if we go to this player as you can see I could just walk through them but I don't see them so now this player, oh no, the ghost got him, he died too. Too bad. This player also becomes a ghost, and now the two ghosts can see each other. As you can see, we're now besties, and we can see each other. But these the alive players cannot see the ghosts. Which is the entire point of this system, because it's a spectating ghost system. So now let's say this person wants to revive. Uh, we want to revive, so let's buy revive for 800,000 Robux. This player revives. They're going to become a regular regular player again, as you can see. And now this player is all alone again. So this is how you make a spectating ghost system. If you want to know how you can make this in Roblox Studio, then make sure you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make a ghost spectating system in Roblox Studio just like all of the horror games out there. In the intro at the start you saw exactly how it worked, I explained how it worked, so that is what we're going to be recreating today in Roblox Studio. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to support me by giving a like on this video if you like it. And if you don't like this video, if you hate it, whatever, please give a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to. Turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. And make sure to become a member by pressing the gray or blue join button down below somewhere on my channel. It it's something called join. Uh, to become a member and get amazing perks. Uh, so without further ado... Let's hop right into the tutorial. So newbie, how do we set this system up? It is pretty simple. First of all, you want to get the model from the link in the description. In the description, there is a link. You can click on it. It goes to roblox.com. Uh, it goes to a model with the name, something like ghost, uh, spectate, whatever. Uh, you want to get that for free and then head back to Roblox Studio. So now I have assumed all of you have gotten the model. Thank you so much. You can now click on view at the top of your screen. Then go to Toolbox, and then uh, if you go over to the four blocks over here, you will see my models, and then you will see Spectate Ghost System. Four scripts, just click OK. And now what you want to do, you want to open the folder, and then you will see Replicated Storage, Server Script Service, Starter Character Scripts, and Starter GUI. Now what you want to do, you want to drag them into where they're supposed to. So open this, and Death Event goes into Replicated Storage. Server script service has two scripts and they both go into server script service. Starter character scripts may be a, a bit hard to find, but it's in starter player right over here. Pretty simple. Uh, you just want to grab that and put it in here. And then you have starter GUI, and that's pretty self explanatory. Just put it in starter GUI. Now you can delete all of these folders like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to game settings and then you want to go to monetization. And then you want to make, uh, you want to scroll down and make a developer product. So I'm going to create one, and I'm going to name this a Revive for Tutorial, and I'm going to make it um, 800,000 Robux, because why not? We're going to click Save, and then you want to go back to Game Settings again, go to Monetization, and then find your product ID, and uh, paste it to your clipboard, like that. Like, just copy ID to clipboard. And then, now, all we have to do is code this system so let's do that right now we're first of all going to be coding the server script uh, then we're going to do the button one and then we are going to code starter character scripts so make sure you keep up if you have any questions join the discord server down below and enjoy
so that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial. You have done absolutely magnificent. You are amazing. Uh, now we have entered the recap section. And newbie, what is that? The recap section is for the people who want to learn from the code. Uh, so if you want to know what the code does, uh, I will briefly explain it. First of all, this script, Disable Player Collision, uh, there's not much to explain. This just makes um, uh, this just makes players um, uh, be able to walk through each other uh, because uh, it's just better to do that. On the server script, we got three variables. We got players, replicated storage, and marketplace service. We just get those services. Oops. Uh, the Revive ID is your developer product, which you made in the setup section of this video. If you haven't done that yet, go to the setup section to know how to do that. We have an empty table, dead players, because we need to know uh, who is alive and who is dead. And this is just so we can remove you from the table, where, uh, so we can remove you from the dead players uh, whenever you purchase the Revive. So that's why that's there. Uh, player added, when you join the game, we will make a bool value, so a true or false value with the name dead. Uh, when you die over here, uh, we're going to set that to true. We're going to put you in the dead players table because you died. And then over here, when you load again, so if you're going to respawn again, we're going to check if you are if you were dead, actually. And if you were dead, we're going to make you invisible. And then after that, we will destroy your face because uh, faces do not get, um, like, invisible when you die. Uh, we're going to let everyone in the game know that you died. And then we're going to give you the revive option. And over here, when you purchase the revive, we're going to check if the product ID is the revive ID. If that's true, we're going to get your player. We're going to make sure you're not dead again. We're going to remove your revive ability. We're going to remove you from the dead players table. We're going to let everyone know you're not dead anymore. We're going to reload your player. And we're going to make sure to tell Roblox that the purchase went through. Because we are required to do that. In the client script, let's see. We got local players. Is it because the game colon get service players? Uh, we're going to get the player's service and the marketplace service service. Sounds double, but okay. Uh, we're going to get a player, local player, is because the player is not local player. Uh, again, the revive ID, the developer product. When you click on revive, we're going to just prompt you with like, hey, do you want to buy the revive for 800,000 Robux? Yes, you want to. Uh, so that's that. And then in this script, uh, this is the most trickiest, trickiest script I've ever made in my life. I had to ask for help on dev forum, so big shout out to the person who helped me on that. Uh, again, players and replicated storage uh, storage uh, services. My bad. Uh, local player. We're going to get your player. We're going to get the character. Uh, an empty table. And then when we let everyone know to update the table, we're going to update the table. This is just for handling the transparency. This makes you invisible and this makes you invisible. We're going to make a permanent loop. And then we're going to check if the table has changed. And if it has changed, we're going to loop through the table. We're going to check if uh, the player is something else than everyone in the table. Uh, if the table cannot find you, then we're going to put everyone to transparency 1. So if I am not dead, we're going to make the dead players fully transparent. If that's not the case, so if I am dead, uh, and same as the other dead players, we're going to make everyone semi-transparent. And then if I am dead, we're going to turn myself transparent in this line of code over here. And we're going to do this every 0 0.01 seconds. So I hope that is um, uh, I hope that is clear. So that is basically what the code does. And now all we have to do is test this out. We just have to test it out. So we're going to do that right now. I will be loading up a three-player world, maybe four, uh, so I can show you to everyone that it works. So let's do that right now. So now before you say anything, whoa, I know this looks like a lot. Four players. Uh, I hope my OBS doesn't crash. So this is the player. As you can see, the, he's running on every single account. If this player dies, let's see, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to reset. Boom. The player died, and over here we can see that the player is dead. When they respawn, let's wait for Roblox to load because it is uh, pretty uh, big. As you can see, the player disappeared, but the player is actually right over here. But these people cannot see him, so we can try walking through the player. Let me just find them. Oh, here it is. Look, I can walk through this player even though he's not there. So now let's say this player dies. So this one can see every single... Okay, this person, this ghost can see everyone. This person is going to die right now. And this player will be able to see the other ghost. There he is. You can see now we got two ghosts. And as you can see, these players over here cannot see them. Like, where are they? Oh, they're right over here. But yeah, I can't see them. So now this player dies too. 
of course, and then this player can see the rest, blah, blah, blah. Look, as you can see, now we got a full squad, and this person is all alone in uh, the ghost hunting game or whatever. So now let's say this person wants to revive. 3, 2, 1, revive. Do you want to buy a revive tutorial for 800,000 Robux? Uh, or is that 8 million? No, 800,000 Robux. So I'm going to click revive. Boom. I bought it. I got reset, as you can see. And now, this player can see me again, so now we're besties again. Hello, bestie. But these people are still spectators. As you can see, we can still see these. So let's revive on both of these. So one, two. Boom, boom. And now everyone is revived again and everyone can see each other. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna die. And now everyone will be able to see each other. As you can see, everyone uh, can see each other. So now let's revive the top of those. One, two. Boom, boom. And now these players cannot see this ghost anymore. So this is how you make a spectating ghost system, just like every single horror game out there on Roblox Studio. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video, because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, to never miss out on anything I upload. Make sure you become a member if you want to. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.